day. What a day it is. Absolutely beautiful out here. Um, I've been given a rare opportunity to detect this, well, ancient field system, which um, I've no doubt is going to absolutely be full of rubbish. Uh, it's old, so there's going to be iron, there's going to be modern trash, but I might just be able to wink it out something decent, you never know. Um, but yeah, let's get on with it. A banging sort of 45. It's an old padlock. Not, not majorly old, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> Excellent. Right, so I just had this one come up. Um, it's reading about a 40, uh, and it's uh, well, some sort of bag seal or cloth seal. Um, yeah, there is a bit of a crude design on there. Probably not that old, um, I don't know, probably not even as old as Victorian, but I'm not sure. Um, don't get many, I've had one sort of that size and shape before, one or two, but I don't get many. So yeah, unusual. Alright, using the navel today, thought I'd mix it up a bit. I'm glad I did because this soil is like claggy clay. Um, but. And if you can see that, literally just folded this uh, over and got coin. Nice imprint there as well. What we got? It is, well it's a Vicky. That's in nice condition. Very nice condition. Don't recognise that. I thought it was a half penny at first, but it's not. It's a... It's a Jersey coin, and it is one thirteenth of a shilling. <laughs> Condition of that, that's just, that's like it was minted yesterday. Absolutely beautiful coin. Day 1870. What a stunner. Look at that. Not very often they come out like that. <laughs> um, Vicky's generally come out quite nice around here, but that's, yeah, that's a cut above the rest, that one. Absolutely mint. Nice. Yeah, cool. First coin of the day. What a belter. Let's carry on. Next one. Another little uh, pewter button. Um bit of engine turning, I might be a scratch, but yeah, I mean, interestingly enough, the legend was telling me that was iron, so, but it sounded good enough to dig, so that's all that mattered. Before I just stop for a quick, quick little break, get some water. Um, I've been here for about an hour and a half, and as expected, lots and lots of 303s. Um, the lead seal, old padlock, really nice coin, and a button so far, but you can't go far in Dorset without finding some World War II bits and bobs, especially here. I think they were heavily preparing for D-Day. So, um, but, it is what it is, it's still an old fail system, I'm lucky to be on it, so yeah, quick quick bite to eat and get back to it. Right, this one was a, this was a nice 32, um, I might be totally wrong, but I think it's a, a really old bullet, um, yeah, it could be totally wrong, it's bullet shaped, that's about it, but I don't know. It's, yes, yeah, it's got a look about it. <sighs> I don't know. It's, it's a lump of lead, that's what it is. Bullet shaped lump of lead. <laughs> cool. Right, so that looks like a musket ball has hit something and gone splat. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. Right, 
lovely 42 this one it's a thrupney bit yeah manky old thrupney bit I wonder what the date is 1940 something 1941 so it's all tying in with all the uh, World War 2 bits I've been finding oh well still a coin I don't mind that Right, this one, um, scratchy 42, 43, but it looks, I'm hoping, it looks like I might have a silver coin there. Eh? Um, bit of an imprint. Uh, yes, I think we do. We've got a sixpence. It's uh, seen better days, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, silver sixpence, 1888. Don't know if you can see that. Oh, not if I drop it. Yeah, it's unfortunately it's a bit battered, but it's silver. Um, yeah, awesome. So it's going to be Queen Victoria, but I can't make anything out on that side. Unfortunately, might be. I put a bit of water on it or something, I might be able to get something, but no, it's uh, it's pretty worn, but yeah, awesome, 1888 silver sixpence, we're on the silver, let's carry on. Quick shout out to Clive at the uh, Simplex and Legend owners group on Facebook. Um, definitely worth joining people there's some there's some knowledgeable folks in there that will happily identify stuff and just give you general advice really but um and Clive also supplies these the um kindly sent me the screen surround the simplex ones and the snakeskin coil covers as well so yeah check them out I've just had a uh look focus on it there you go George Sip penny really bad condition yeah but let's carry on I've got some in here <laughs> um, this is about a 33 and I was sure it was gonna be another 303 cartridge let me just mute, mute the metal detector um, yeah I was certain it was gonna be another cartridge round but it's not it looks like a ring I haven't moved all I've done is you can see how shallow that is there's probably three or four inches and that has just fallen out it's, that, that's a ring it's got to be um, <laughs> it is uh, yeah awesome it looks, I don't know, it looks old, but not. <laughs> it's got that really old patina to it. It's a bit worn there, but it's a ring, most definitely. Um, yeah, God knows how old that is. That's amazing. Um, yeah, that's why you should dig everything. Because I was a hundred percent thinking, ah, oh, it's got to be a three hundred three. There is a there's a kind of design on that bit. I don't want to I don't want to rub it too much. I clean it properly, but that could be that could be really old, or it could just be a a poor man's ring. It's got a bit of weight. Oh, I just yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get that cleaned properly but it's a ring it, it's almost like got a uh, like a Maltese cross on the top I don't know if you can see that the camera just won't focus properly it's a ring <laughs> awesome yes nice not gold last one I found was gold but still oh, I love finding rings excellent Right, let's keep going. 
So here's another one, and I don't know if you can see the screen or hear me over the wind, but and you can hear there's iron all around that, and even the pharaohs saying it's iron. But to me, <laughs> that's diggable. So let's have a look. Supposedly iron signal. Well, doesn't look like iron to me. That looks pretty awesome. Look like a well, I don't know, like a swan or you might even be an eagle, something like that. But yeah, that's cool. I like that. So God knows what it would have been off. Some sort of a, I don't know, mascot or something. But yeah, how cool is that? It sounded good, so I dug it. Um, that's what it's all about. So there you go. Not sure if this one's World War One or two, but it's a military button. Yeah, get tons of these. But, um, yeah all adds to the story let's carry on uh, this one was about 32 um, in keeping with the World War 2 theme we've got going on today uh, I think it's probably the top of a cap badge um, and I'd guess sort of fusiliers grenadier guards something like that um, yeah pretty cool shame it's not attached to the rest of the, uh, the badge but there you go This one, um, it's about 25 on the legend, and it's I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a little shoe buckle, but unfortunately the pin in the middle, I'm amazed it survived at all to be honest, but the pin in the middle popped out when I picked it up. I mean the pin still works, but yeah, I'm going to guess probably a Georgian shoe buckle, maybe a hat buckle, I don't know, but likely shoe buckle. Yeah that's quite nice. Or it would have gone behind and then hinged as sort of like well in the middle there like that. So yeah. Sweet. Let's keep going. This one absolutely <coughs> screaming. Solid solid 45. Um, too good to be true. <laughs> it's got to be. Yeah. Horseshoe. Crap. <laughs> so yeah, roundup time. I'll show you everything I've dug because it's yeah new permission, blatantly not been detected on before. Um, so this is the result of four, maybe five. Lost track of time. Hours. A um, lot of rubbish, hell of a lot of rubbish, a lot of lead, um, all sorts of crap. Um, and then you've got the World War II connection, so you've got a whole load of 303 cartridges. Um, loads of <laughs> loads of military buttons, well, four military buttons. Um, more rubbish, a couple of padlocks, and then the good stuff. A um, few coins, that easily is the best coin. Condition of that, is just mad. One thirteenth of a shilling, Jersey coin. Yeah, 1870. Great condition. A uh, little silver, silver sixpence. Uh, Queen Victoria, rubbish condition though. But never mind, that thing swan eagle whatever it is from the last hole uh little shoe buckle buttons and then a ring an awesome little ring yeah i'll, I'll try and get a date for that i mean it looks old but it could just be crude you know not that old and quite crudely made but i don't know but it's a ring regardless so, a cool find. Um, yeah. And that's the lot. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, I've been a little bit inconsistent lately, but when I have managed to get out, I've been looking for permissions, like, like this one. So, 
it's worth it. Um, I've got a couple more as well. I'm still, I'm just waiting for the harvest. August is the time. I can get on all the permissions then. And yeah, it'll be awesome. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.